people have been tweeting, how can I, as a gay man, interview you, who they regard <laughs> as bigoted against gay people? Well, can I suggest you answer that? Because if they want to know how you, a gay man, can do it, then it is for you to answer it. But why, why do you think you have got this reputation of being so anti-gay? Because any time that I say anything at all, it is distorted and twisted, as the most recent example was, and I'm not going to go through it again, it is distorted and twisted into meaning something that I have never said. And I go further. You know that I have lots of gay friends. I go further. If I thought half of what social media claims I thought, you and all my other gay friends wouldn't want anything to do with me, would you? No. Would you? Exactly. Um, but somehow you do. Somehow I do. <laughs> How... How long have we been friends? Um, must be 20 years. 20 years. How have your views on gay issues changed in those 20 years? No, they haven't. Not at all? No. So you... you I mean, the world hasn't ended since Look, the, the advent of equal marriage, for example. The um, world hasn't ended, no. But do, I still believe in traditional marriage. Now, that is the teaching uh, of the Catholic Church. I'm a Catholic. I could get all uptight and say, oh, it's religious discrimination. I don't. But equally, I'm not going to get into this now because I know that anything I say will be taken down, twisted out of all recognition, and then used in evidence against me. So, end of. So, well, end of. Of. So you're not actually going to talk about End those issues ever of. again, is that what you're saying? I'm saying that I am not going into it. It has nothing to do with the Brexit Party. You've interviewed me as a member of the Brexit Party. Uh, if you want to give me a, a private interview with Anne Widdicombe sometime, please let me know. But you've introduced me as a leading light in the Brexit Party, well, and it is on that basis that I am doing this interview. Well, I'm and those who are watching <laughs> this interview will now see me rolling my eyes. <laughs> I am sure that the Brexit Party will have a policy on these issues in its manifesto tomorrow. I doubt tomorrow. it very much because all those things have been done that you've talked about, so I see no reason why they should have a policy on it. If you had a chance to vote to reverse it, would you? No, of course not. That would be daft. Can you imagine the legal model that would would actually eventuate no, but You from see, that? that's interesting that I wasn't necessarily expecting you to say that. What were you expecting me to say? Well, probably that you would reverse it. Oh, come it. on. Think of the legal model. Think of the legal model. Model. And what happens if five years down the line it was re-reversed? I mean, just, you know, come on, guys, be realistic. Call me pragmatic just now. Be pragmatic. I know, on some things you can be pragmatic. On other issues you can be very ideological. Right. And because you are... Look, and I, I get it. I do understand that people who have devout religious beliefs find this an incredibly difficult issue. And they are guided by their religion. And I, re I respect that. A lot of people don't, but I, I do. I'm, right. As you know, I'm not a religious person. But Shall I, we progress I, to the general election and the Brexit party? Should we go